everyone and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is medium and I'm going to take you through this course of the Namhe cliffs or the creepy cliffs as it's called and give you the best advice when it comes to uh, getting the chest for this golden shot do not forget to subscribe to the channel be a sub if you're watching uh, on on YouTube as well, do not forget to hit the notification button so you can get a notification every time we have a live stream or uh, there is a new video uploaded here. So it's the Halloween theme and for medium difficulty you can win uh, the classic mummy ball and I'm going to show you in the end uh, uh, the balls of the mummy ball, uh, what the stats are and why they are good etc. So we'll press medium. I'm going to show you five shots here and I'm going to show you only five shots because the adjustment here is it's very repeatable you know we're going to get what can I say uh, win be, uh, between two to four miles per hour and you can win uh, five different chests would you have the banshee chest uh, for the hole in one uh, then would you have the golem chest for the yellow one the dragon chest and then we do have the wrath, wraith chest and then we do have the zombie chest in the end. We're going to play with the golden wood club that gives us an accuracy of 51. I'm going to play the golden wood club as 1.9 per ring in all my shots. And that is including 20% extra in elevation because we're playing downhill. And it's going to be mid distance of our club. So that is the thing that we're going to do and you can see the number here on the screen as well And if you do have any questions about that, please uh, Just ask in the comment section below or uh, Just press on the link to learn how to adjust for the rings and you will get to the video and the guide for that And you will be able to learn how to adjust for the rings here. So I think uh, uh, Last but not least like the question mark here on the top right gives us uh, some frequently asked questions about the golden shot and the golden shot You do have one free shot not more than that So it's very very important to spend that free shot wisely especially that you should be getting a chest at least so let's go with the with the shots, Whole, shot number one, three miles per hour in headwind. And as I said, I'm going to play with the, the wood club every time. And with the headwind, doesn't matter if it's two or three or four, I'm going to play with the red ring just being in the rough there on the top. And I'm going to use four bars of backspin. I'm not going to play with any side spin whatsoever here. From this position, we're going to play this shot 1.5 rings. One point five rings, and as you can see here, we're coming in slightly to the left here. The reason we're coming in slightly to the left here is that we should be playing it. Uh, we should be playing it a little bit more to the right with the uh, with the ball guideline, just to adjust for the push that we're going to get for the bounce. I know it's not a high, uh, like a hard push, but as this hole is played so massively downhill then it's important for us to just adjust for that bounce and you're going to see that uh, in uh, the future shots here that come. Mommy ball, five of them getting the yellow one which was good. 3.2 3.2 and now we're going to play with uh, some head uh, some backspin of course. Max backspin this time with crosswind and some tailwind max backspin. I'm going to aim up deliberately a little bit on the left side of the pin, having the red ring just by the rough this time. Because what do you have headwind? If I do have uh, tailwind, if I do have tailwind, I just having a red ring cutting the rough there. If I having headwind uh, in any form, then I having the red ring just being inside the rough just a little bit there as my landing position. That helps me having a good reference going into uh going into making the shot so looks good here i'm going to come a little bit to the right it seems still there as well we do forget to adjust our ball guideline position to adjust for the push that we're going to get for the bounce so we still get got the red chest but now it's time to accelerate a little bit here and make it a little bit properly and just move the ball guideline a little bit i'm happy with the landing position i'm happy with the spin now and happy with the rings that we're using let's adjust it 
with the landing position a bit properly as well. So four bars backspin. I'm taking away that last part there. You can see headwind. I'm putting myself in the rough a little bit with the red ring there. My second ring is that after the yellow one there. 3.6. You can see I'm using the yellow ring on the green as a reference for the tip of my ball guideline to have that one to adjust for the impact of the bounce. And now I'm going to play this one, uh, going to play it 1.8 rings. And we hit the perfect. And always important with the golden shot to hit the perfect. Looks good. Looks good. Come on, get in, get in. Still a little bit to the right there. Still a little bit to the right. So, mm. but in the end we did get the red ring, a red ring here and uh, that chest, which is... Which is decent, of course, uh, but now, okay, it's like this is a shot that we should be able to uh, uh, nail down. Now we're going to have some tailwind. Now I'm not going to adjust for any kind of, uh, not that much impact of the bounce. I'm going to just put it, you can see here on your, uh, looking here, I'm just going to use the yellow ring as well as a reference here. Even though we just have slightly to the right, and the reason for that is that the green is kind of when it, if you go up to the top and going to fall down the green is sloping slightly down to the right which makes that it's better to miss on the right side than else uh, then uh, sorry miss on the left side to fall down right and miss on the right to fall down right so hit the bounce here get in boom there we go perfect one with a hole in one there as well do it out So tailwind, there is really nothing that changes there. But have in mind like how we put the ball guideline position so we did adjust for the impact of the bounce. Eight mummy balls. Okay, 2.3. Now we do have some crosswind. Not that strong of course, but this push from the bounce is still going to be tough, you know. And we're going to go with max backspin as we do have crosswind. And as you can see again, we are using the yellow ring there. Or if you don't have the yellow ring, it's going to be around one, one and a half square to the left or to the right of the pin to adjust for the impact of the bounce. I'm going to play this one 1 1.2 rings. Now we hit the perfect. You can see it coming in very nicely here. And getting, can we get our second hole in one? Let's go! Okay, so I'm going to repeat myself now. So if I do have a headwind, I'm going to have a landing position slightly inside the rough on the top here on the fairway with the red ring. Just four bars backspin, not max backspin as we do have four and a half bar approximately in backspin. Four bars of backspin is going to be it. Have in mind that if we do have some side, uh, side wind to either direction with headwind, then you're going to move it so you do have the outside of the yellow ring to either right or the left side with uh, your ball guideline. So you have that as a position to adjust for the impact of the bounce. Then if you do a tailwind, then we're going to use the red ring just being at the rough side. And that's the same as we're going to do with crosswind max backspin there. And then again, it's important to adjust for the impact the bounce is going to have for us there. As you can see here on the screen, 1.9 per ring is including with 20% extra when it comes to the Golden Wood Club in medium distance here. So this was the medium one and we're going to take a look here for the mummy balls. I'm going to check yeah, where do we have the mummy ones. There we go. Mummy balls. You can see here power three balls with wind four and side spin one. This is this is a very good ball as well. And I think like you know both the eyeballs are really good, but also the mummy balls is really really good for us here. So definitely going to be helpful there. So. Do not forget to make a comment in the comment section below and tell me what chest you got in the golden shot. Uh, here in the end, I want to wish you the good, uh, a good luck in the golden shot.